everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to another Tuesday night tabletop thrift haul. Actually, tonight we're gonna go shopping. So we're gonna do a little bit of a tabletop thrift haul, but then I'm gonna take you to Savers in the Willowick East Lake area. Um, you've been there with me before if you've been around a while because that is where I found the bird and the baby. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I'm going to share that video up here because it's worth going back to check that journey out. Um, kind of hysterical. Anyway, we were up in that area because there was a community-wide garage sale day in Willowick. So I met my Aunt Beth and her girls at the parking lot of Savers and then we rode together and went and did... I can't even tell you how many garage sales we stopped at. It was very strange because I didn't come away with a lot of things. <laughs> for as much as we were out, we were out for the better part of a day garage sailing. And even at Savers, I, I just was not in a shopping mood. But I did get some cool stuff. In fact, I found one thing at a garage sale that I absolutely love. I've never seen anything like it. I can't find anything like it. It may be a little treasure. So I'm excited to show you that. Let's start there. Let's start with the garage sale stuff and then we'll do the shopping and I'll show you what I got from Savers as well. The very first garage sale we stopped at, the guy had a ton of amazing stuff, like legit antiques, but he had like over legit antique prices on them. Um, crazy prices on them. And I'm just kind of of the mindset where if you're gonna have a garage sale, you want to get rid of stuff. It's not like open up a shop in your front yard and overcharge for things. It's like everything should be a quarter to like five dollars and maybe a few larger items with higher price tags but we walked through there like whoa and then I found this. <laughs> for a quarter it's just a little made in Japan just a little mini bud vase and a quarter was the right price. Hi, buddy. Come here. A quarter was the right price. And I'll probably put this in the shop in one of our little cinder block cubbies because it'll fit right in there and it'll look great. And I got it for a quarter. I'll probably put around $5 on it. Hi. Yes? Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? What are you doing? You want to go under the table? The next sale we went to, I picked up a bag of ornaments. They had 50 cents on this bag. And look at some of these. It's a little wooden bird. There's an older glass bear ornament with a heart. What I love about this one is, can you see the, the little top of it is a Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? Then there are a couple hand-painted ceramic ones in here. This little girl, she's so cute. And this teddy bear in a stocking. Again, really cute. A handmade beaded piece, looks like a little wreath. And three wooden pieces. One little raccoon. It has a 1978, looks like it says, Dakin Company, um, San Francisco. So that's kind of cool. This guy, he doesn't have any marks on him. He's got a little scarf and he's playing a horn magically without holding onto it. That's, that's talent. And then my favorite one of all of them was this owl, wooden owl. And I love the way he's painted. He looks definitely like a 60s or 70s piece. His coloring is so cool. Almost even though he's uh, wood, almost reminds me of like Amberina with the yellow to the red. And then he's got some speckles on his head. He's just very cool. No marks on him. Just really well made. So not bad for a 50 cent bag. The next sale we went to, I found two little moonshine jugs. How great is that? This one's about five inches tall and I'm seeing comps on eBay anywhere from like $12 to like $30 on these, even the little ones. So I don't know what the difference in them is. I'm gonna have to do some research and really understand. I'll probably put this one on eBay if I can get that kind of uh, money 
for it. <laughs> I paid a dollar for it. And then I got a little one. Look at how cute this is. This one I paid, I wanna say 50 cents for it. So I, the other one was marked a dollar and this one didn't have any tag on it. I think just because she thought it's smaller, she you know did 50 cents on it. And this one is probably only maybe three and a half inches tall. And it's just so cute. There are no markings on either one of these. This one has a glazed bottom while this one does not. But this one I can imagine fitting in one of our little cubbies at the shop. And I'm guessing maybe five to eight dollars on this one while who knows on this one? 15, 20, 25, I don't even know. This one actually has a little piece of a moonshine recipe still stuck to it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love them. I have one like this that's about 50 times as big. <laughs> I mean, it's like a two and a half foot jug that I love, but very cool. And then as I was leaving that sale, I saw these, and these are new old stock um, brass dresser drawer pulls. They're so great. They are dated 1997, and they were sold restore and restyle. This is probably like a Kmart or something, but I got them for a dollar and they're so great. I think I'm just gonna keep a hold of them and when I find something that needs drawer pulls, I'll probably add them to it. Um, if I was to sell them on eBay, I'm looking at comps and I'm thinking new old stock like this is probably about $15, which is pretty cool. Now that thing that I said I loved, I was exiting one of the garage sales that we went to and I looked behind the lady at this table and these were sitting there and she had $1 on them, $1. Look at these. They are, I wanna say Cupid doll earmuffs. Cupid doll earmuffs. I cannot find these anywhere. They are in brilliant condition. There's no doubt in my mind that they are like original 1950s. They're fantastic. They've been tucked away somewhere. I know there are some serious Cupid Dog collectors out there. So this I think might be a big deal. I think. I have found Howdy Doody and Howdy Doody character face earmuffs out there. The last set of Howdy Doody earmuffs I think sold for like $70. I have no idea what these will go for. I think this is one of those things that I'll probably do an eBay auction and I'll start them, you know, maybe in that $70 to $100 range and then see, you know, who takes, who takes a bid or who sends me an offer. But I think they're very special and I absolutely love them. Can you believe that for a dollar? I think these are phenomenal. I'm super excited that I found them and I'm really excited to see what they might go for. If you have any guesses, leave them in the comments below. I'd be curious what you think. If you think this is like a whoa find, I kind of feel like it might be. That was it. I think I spent like $5 at the garage sales. That's it. Like, like I didn't spend any money. So then we went over to Savers. Let's go check out what we found at Savers. Let's go shopping. So the first style here at the Savers is the figurine aisle. I looked at these deer up here because I love me some deer this year, but those were not quality at all. Love this guy. And you're gonna see a lot of stuff on the shelves that I don't even touch and I can't give you an answer why other than we set a time limit and I was on a mission to find cool stuff and I just overlooked a bunch of stuff. I should have picked this up. <laughs> it's funny. I literally showed it to my aunt. I said, I think this is something special. I don't know. It's hand signed and it's weird, but I think it's ugly. <laughs> I didn't like the colors. I wasn't sure. And I should have I should have listened to my gut. This turns out it is a Peruvian piece. It's called something like Cholucanas. And it was hand signed by an artist that I think his name is Chero. Um, yeah, like a $30 to $40 uh, piece of pottery that 
I should have grabbed for $2.99. And I need to listen to my gut. <laughs> I really do. And this was like a made in China, um, I don't know, couple embracing. Cuter than the other couple embracing. <laughs> And look, it's Spuds McKenzie. I haven't seen Spuds McKenzie in a long time. He was so beat up. It almost, I want to say it was either wood or resin. Um, but yeah, he was missing a lot of paint, really scuffed up. Keep your eyes peeled and give me like a timestamp. If you see something that I totally missed, um, you know, feel free to do your own shopping here and tell me what I missed. I won't be offended. <laughs> Because believe me, we were just kind of zooming around here and I missed a ton of stuff as I'm editing this. I'm like, why did I not look at that? Look at those cute smiling jack-o'-lanterns. Why didn't I look at those? <laughs> Lots of stuff that I missed. This piece here looks like it could have been a blue sky piece. I do really well with those. But I also see some knockoffs out there. And this one I didn't see... It wasn't signed with the um, Heather Goldmink, who is usually the artist for a lot of these, and I didn't see any other stickers or anything. So it could have been, but I passed on it. Liked those brass pieces, liked the glaze on that little wax melt um, piece, but meh. But this is really cool. This is a candle. Although, I feel like those vintage candles, they were just made to collect dust. Because <laughs> nobody actually burns them. I could not, like, burn the butt of a cute little Siamese cat. <laughs> so that's why they're still all around. Nobody burned them. Oh, what's this? Says candle something. I don't know. I didn't check it out. Obviously, we're in the candle area. Moving on to the other side. Oh, that cat is creepy. <laughs> it's like bulging eyes. Lots of vases, some planters. I'm trying to even remember what I ran into. We gave ourselves like 45 minutes. Like when we got back to the parking lot, we were like, obviously we're going to go in, but we gave ourselves a tight time limit. I don't even know. It may have been half an hour. I remember it was quick. I like the look of this wicker piece up here, but it was very light, very cheaply made. like the look of this, but it was modern. But that seems like it could come in handy for a lot of things. Oh, this was a kind of a cool ceramic piece. It was in pretty good shape too, but I didn't like the price tag. I It's funny, I don't normally move this quickly. <laughs> so I apologize if you're like, hey, slow down, wait, what was that? <laughs> you can hit pause. <laughs> you can always look back, scroll back. This was a huge piece. They wanted 15 for it, and I bet it weighed a ton. I didn't even try. I did not even, like, try and pick it up to see what it was. Well, obviously it was a huge glass vase, but I left it alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was some stuff on this shelf that I liked. It was a pretty little picture. And then this, I liked the shape of this. It is just a old juicer. Where you could squeeze the crap out of some uh, fruit. <laughs> I'm zooming in to show you the label here. It says wherever, which is a clever name. And it had all its pieces. I'll show you comps here. Um, I don't remember what the price was there, but I want to say it was like $3.99, but for some reason I didn't even look it up, and that's okay. This was a really pretty piece. Now this is pewter, and that translates to something like burlier pewter flowers, I think. And should have looked that up too. There's another one listed on eBay for I think 24 or 25 bucks. 
Um, loved the grapes and stuff on that. It's funny. I think I've passed on some things that I really would have normally thrown in the cart. You know, even those that juicer and that grape plate, they were great. Just sometimes not in that frame of mind, I guess. I did find some good stuff, but I was picky. These are cool. This is a home and garden party. And this is a sunflower transferware. Really cute. Has that little spongeware edge. And they wanted 10 bucks for those. That probably would have been a good flip. I want to say I'd probably get 20 each for those. That um, lidded piece looks like a cookie jar, but it's actually um, one of, I think, a three canister set. And there was some teacups here. That Royal Albert. Um, I looked up one. I actually put in black and gold teacup, and I'll show you what I found on eBay. That one in particular, not worth that, but my goodness. It's worth taking a look at teacups. They can be worth money. And then I found this, and of course, I like this. I'm drawn to this. It reminded me of Treasure Craft, so in the cart it went. I really think this is cool. It's in this really great red. It's going to clean up and be even brighter than this. Um, I didn't want to clean it because I wanted to show you it with the tag on it. I could do that upright. <laughs> um, a lot of people have these listed on eBay as Treasure Craft, but they are not. The big thing, Treasure Craft doesn't always have the signature Treasure Craft across um, their pieces, but if you see a number like this and just USA, that's usually going to be Sequoia Ware, and that's the difference. I know that because of George the Antique Nomad, who is a wealth of knowledge and he shares his knowledge. So if you don't know who he is, please go check out his channel, um, The Antique Nomad. You will learn so much from him. And I do, I listen. <laughs> he actually wrote the book on treasure craft and this piece, um, he talks about some of the differences and this piece is definitely a Sequoia wear. So those that are listed as treasure craft on eBay, shame on you. You should watch George the Antique Nomad and then you will know what the difference is. But this is not a very expensive piece. It's probably in the 12 to $15 range. I think it's going to look great at the shop in our whimsical booth because it's got that pop of color. I'll probably stand it up. And I've seen a lot of ashtrays sell from the antique mall. I haven't had many in my booths, but I have sold one or two and I have seen many others come through. So I think it will sell there. Then there was another bright red ashtray on the shelf here. And this one's actually probably worth a little bit more than the one I picked up. Um, it just, for some reason, didn't appeal to me as much. <laughs> so it stayed behind. I liked this piece too. I think that was a heavy piece of glass, but I was moving on to something else. I gave like nothing a second look. <laughs> it's a nice hand-painted picture up there. This set was beautiful. This I think was Austria. Yeah, MZ Austria. And I noticed that all of the pieces were priced separately, which by the looks of it meant at least $15. So I was not interested. This piece down here had some really cool vintage vibes. Love those yellow roses in there. If that was a hand painted hobbyist piece, somebody did a nice job. But I didn't give it a second glance. I was moving along. Now we're over in the mugs, and for some reason, I have been on a mug kick. They're not worth much. I don't know why I'm on a mug kick, but I keep picking up single mugs. You'll see in the next uh, few weeks. This one was adorable. I looked this one up, and it did have some value, but I did not grab it. <laughs> and there's another mug in here that... Oh, yeah, back here. Um, it has some 3D dolphins on it. It's from Marineland, Canada. Um, not as much value. I didn't actually find this mug. I found one with a whale on it. This one did have some flea bites, some roughness there. 
and yeah, I passed on it. It went in the in the cart for a little bit, and then I I did end up putting it back. Uh, where are we? Off to another shelf. Oh, I like the look of this. Somebody had done some work here on a cigar box, and I thought it was super cute. There was some damage on it, and apparently I didn't think it was that cute. This had a nice tile on it. Of course, I was looking for that Georges Briard mark. Anything that has a tile on it, take a look and see if it's signed. Still had a cool vintage look. And then they had several Daher um, tins on this row. I want to say at least four or five. This guy has a broken nose, which was unfortunate. I love the carved animals. See down there, there's another one. And then you'll see another one coming up here. But they all were, I think, priced, yeah, right about $3.99. And these are like eight to ten dollar pieces. There's just not really value there. This is a cute set with the little pineapple bowl and the salt and pepper shaker. Unfortunately, these are worth like nothing. There's a bazillion of them listed on eBay and they just don't sell. This I saw listed on eBay for about eight to ten dollars. Um, but that's a complete set, and you'll see here in a second, I think there was only five coasters in this one. So, yeah, not a complete set. Those were some cool blue canisters, and this piece was pretty. It's a Dario Ferrucci, I want to say, and those, there's a ton of those listed too. And then that little teapot was cool. Um, that was probably the better of the two as far as a value there. And then I found this guy and I've been looking for some Christmas and holiday stuff. So I did end up grabbing this. I've been keeping my eye out for holiday stuff, Halloween and Christmas. So when I saw this, I picked it up. It's just kind of kitschy. It's this cow wearing a Santa hat with his head through a wreath milk bottle with a red cap <laughs> it's just kind of fun and for this price this dollar 29 it made sense to pick up i want to say it's probably oh it's marked that it's made in france that's interesting i'm gonna say this is probably a six to eight dollar thing that will go in our booth it's just fun it's christmassy and the stuff sells during christmas so that was the reason why i picked this up now we are moving on to the wall o bags <laughs> oh there's something about this the search through the bags i don't like all the use of plastic i wish there was a better way but man is it fun to look through these things you never know what you're gonna find here we have two tiki shot glasses that you actually wear as pendants. <laughs> Pretty cool. I thought the $4 was a bit steep. They're probably worth uh, 6 to $8 a piece, which would have made it about 16 It went in the cart, but it did not stay. Here's an old pencil sharpener. That was kind of cool to see. Then Beth found a really cute little, like, they're like toothpick holders, but they look like a child set for um, uh, cream and sugar. She's already uh, sold those on eBay. Looks like for about $10. This was cool. This was like a sectioned alligator. You could put him in the garden and he looks like he's, you know, swimming through the garden. And this was cool, too. I'll share some comps. I couldn't see if it was all in that bag, so I passed. These were cool. These look like Laurel Birch, these little cats. She said they were made in China, but I think she may have snagged those. Anyway, got some stamps here. Yeah, check below in the information um, box. I will include her eBay store link so that you can always go and see what she's got. She finds some very cool stuff. Here, this was like a resin elephant. 
It's very cute, but the $3 was a bit much, so he went back on the wall. But I love that color, that teal. Very cute. These were interesting. These are miniature pewter pieces. And I did take the time to look these up because I thought there might be some value here. I also thought I might be interested in them for my miniature collection, but I ended up passing on them and putting them back. You saw all the bags on the wall and I only found one and I didn't even catch it on camera. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was not very with it on this day, but I picked up this and it didn't look like this in the bag. It just, this was all kind of crumbled up and all of these little wooden pieces were in the bag that I could see. So there was this little, looks like a dog and there were people. Here was a little girl and there were some marine life. So here's a walrus. Here's another person. Here's a seal. Here's another person. So it's like a little Arctic family. A polar bear, isn't he cute? And a baby polar bear. And then this carries all of them in it. Of course, this is an igloo. Now I did find this, this was not marked, none of the pieces were marked, but I did find out that this is called an Arctic um, soft play set. And these actually retailed for $75, which is insane. Now I don't have all the pieces that I can see in that set, and of course I'm sharing that set with you. I am missing a sled, a second dog, and that might be it. That might be it. Um, but I have quite a few pieces. So I think it's wonderful that I will put these on eBay and I'll probably ask somewhere between $25 and $30 for this set. That's amazing. The last thing that I found, and I also did not record this, it was when we were actually leaving and we were walking out and around the clothing. In the very last aisle, there are t-shirts and I often run down just to see if there's any single stitch t-shirts. That means vintage. So normally t-shirts have two seams right here on the arm. And if you find one, that means it's usually vintage. This is not vintage. It's just kind of a throwback vintage, but it is the coolest shirt. It's just the CLE Cleveland. And then on the back, it has the shirt maker. It's Cleveland Clothing Company, and it says, wear your pride. And I knew that Earth would love this shirt. I paid $6.99 for it. And that's just because I knew he would love it. It is just a really cool looking, vintage looking shirt. $6.99 was a good price for that. I'll show you what they go for here, of course. And that was it. That was all of the haul. I just was not spending money on this day, I guess. I spent $5 at the garage sales. I spent more than that on one t-shirt at Savers. So I want to say seven, nine, less than $15 at Savers. And seven of that was the t-shirt. So I spent less than $20 the entire day. But I did find a treasure. Maybe my whole day is made by these guys. Who knows? It'll be interesting to find out. And of course, I can give you an update in a future video as to what happens with these guys. Pretty excited about them. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still with me at this point, I appreciate you the most. Do me a favor. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, um, hit that subscribe and then click the alarm button a couple of times and you'll know when I put up a new video a couple of times a week. Um, Click that like button while you're at it or the dislike, I don't care. And leave me that comment below. Tell me what you think about those things um, or just say hello. And then share out the video so that we can continue to grow the Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody, take care. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.